just came home from a long trip away. And so you know what that means, PR haul. We make opening boxes harder and harder now. First is from Violette. She has a new lip shade going on and this is really exciting. Cute. It is their new velvety lip color that replicates the supplement suppleness of a rose petal. Interesting, that's exciting. And then I've got two things from Tony Moly, which is a Korean brand that I've loved forever and ever. This is their all over blemish patches and then their instant mask pads. These have been trending everywhere now where basically instead of doing like a sheet mask, you have these like pads and you put them on your face. And I like this a lot better because I'm sorry, but the sheet masks never fit my face the way I want to. So these pads will be great, especially aloe, great for the summer. From Olaplex, I received two things. This is their volum volumizing blow dry mist. And then this is their clean volume detox dry shampoo. And then from Skin Fix, I received two things. This box has seen better days. This is the Acne Plus Triple Threat Set. It has their gel, BHA cleanser, and what's the third thing? Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream. I will be trying this probably soon since I destroyed the bag. And then also from them, I got their gel. I'm not sure why they said these two separately because the gel is in here, but I love all things that are green packaging. And then from Ren Clean Skincare, I got their Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm. Again, green, which I love. And then from Bobbi Brown, I received their Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I recently gave one of these to my friend and she said she loved it. And then the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Weightless Hydrating Mask. So that's a lot of things and I'm excited to try them all out. I am so sweaty, but I have some more PR that I got that I thought I would just share anyways. I feel like I'm just really interested in seeing celebrity PRs, which is why I like to post any PR that I get. Um, this one is from Tatcha. This box is all crushed up, which makes me sad. This is the Indigo Cleansing Balm. I'm just gonna open this because I'm gonna use this like tonight. I needed a new cleansing balm because I just ran out. And, ooh, that is cute. Love this. I love Tatcha stuff. I wish I could get it all the time. Some other stuff that I got, this is the Vegamore Grow Dry Shampoo. Uh, I have a dry shampoo that I already really like, but I thought I would try this one too since the brand sent it to me. And then this is the Living Proof Full Texture Foam. I never do anything to style my hair, so I'm not sure if I'll use this. If you can hear in the background like bird noises, it's because we're playing the cat TV for our little kitty. And then this is stuff by Moroccan Oil. I love Moroccan Oil. Thank you so much for sending me these. Um, this is their shower gel. This is their hand wash. And then this is the body lotion. Today's fit is this simple tank and this skirt that I don't know how it fits so miraculously on me. I love, it just hits the right spot in my waist. I'm going to the library to get some new books. I did a full face because, you know, get excited for the little joys in your life.
Uh, I'm pretty bad at it right now, but it doesn't help that the mouth of this is so small that everything just looks kind of bunched up. I always pick flowers that are like not fully blooming like these because I want them to last kind of a long time on my desk. So some of them will open up later and this will look a lot more full. I got three books at the library, two of which have been kind of recommended and highly rated, and then one that I just like picked off the new shelf. So the two that I've been meaning to read is this one, Seven Necessary Sins for Women and Girls. Hearts was amazing, it has such good reviews, so I'm really excited for it. And I was surprised by how kind of short it is, so I think I'll just like breeze through this one. And then the second one is The Story of More, and this one is about like climate change. I'm trying to get more involved in some of the things uh, with climate change. There's so much and I have found that trying to research on my own has been really, really exhausting, especially if you don't know where to begin. So starting small with like a book like this, hopefully I can learn a little bit more about our earth and how we kind of got to where we are. And then the last book that I got, this is the one I picked off the shelf. This is Letters to a Writer of Color. Have never heard of this, just saw it on the shelf, but it was interesting. I myself have always had the ambition of becoming a writer, so this will be interesting. It's an anthology and yeah, like I said, I've literally never heard of it. So I don't know if I can recommend it yet, but this is good. So I'm trying to get like two that highly rated recommended and then one that I'm just picking off the shelf. This way I'm not like too swayed by things that are only popular. I find that that's the majority of the books that I read. I only read books that are recommended to me or that are like popular on Goodreads, have good ratings, but to go to something blind is part of the joy of books. And that way I can read like fresh new books instead of like waiting for people to review them to see if they're gonna be good. Exciting. I can't believe I'm a book girly now. I love cuddling with that cutie, but every time I do, I gotta do one of these and I get all this hair on me that I really don't like. Sometimes I find it like in my mouth or up my nose and I don't like that. So I lint roll everything and it gets really exhausting. times when you need help and you should always ask for it. Uh, I remember my first year I was so like embarrassed to say that like I needed help with classes or I was just overwhelmed or stressed. And this is the loudest I can speak right now because this half of my face is numb. We redid my filling and 
I can't eat anything even though I am starving. This is by Amika. They sent me their Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Mask. That is very hard for me to articulate right now with my half face numb, but this packaging is so cute as always. This box is from Lola. I am working with them over on my Instagram and I will show this box over there if you're interested in seeing that. Now yesterday's package. So online, I ordered this Shiseido stick sunscreen that I really like, 50 SPF. I just reapply it on my face whenever I like. It's pretty good for the price. It's small, but it lasts a decent time and I like to put it on my arms. It's not that sticky, clear, great. The problem is that they should be giving me samples, right? I think that makeup brands should be giving more samples. This is what I got. This little thing, this one piece, and then this little perfume. And then I got to pick at this one, which is Summer Fridays, which is a brand that I really like. And they gave me, look at how big this case is, this little SPF. Now, when you go buy things in Korea, they give you so many samples, even if you just buy one thing. So I am so disappointed that like this is what I get when I shop in America. Korean stuff is just way better. All right, I am all packed up to go. I'm about to go run like 20 different errands. Gotta drop off this package. I am also going to the library to hang out just for a bit and get some work done. I also am getting TSA pre-check. You know what's crazy? That I fly almost 20 flights a year and I don't have TSA pre-check, which is insane. So I'm gonna finally go get that. And yeah, it's a productive day for sure. I'm looking a little cute and preppy today. And yeah, I'm ready. To the pavement and concrete On a bridge you brought to me And I would hold you if it meant you wouldn't go Through the showers and the snow You know you always seem to grow In the places that no one could ever hear been trying to figure out why we fill our heads with doubt when our hearts don't follow any other people. Look at this nasty look he gives me every time I come home. I'm sorry, I've been out for a couple hours. I was in Midtown. I had gone to the right place and then I realized I didn't bring my passport. And how can I get my TSA pre-check without my ID? And so that was disappointing, but I did go to the library and spend some time there. And while I was there, I realized, you know what? I'm just gonna do some of my other errands. So then I went to drop off the package and I got my prescription and I did my eyebrows, which are just okay, but whatever. It's okay, it's okay. It's still a good day, even if I didn't do the one thing I plan on doing today, but it's okay. I'm just gonna finish up work here and get on with my day.